shocking statistic. 55% of educators are considering leaving the classroom earlier than planned. That's according to a national survey from the National Education Association. Now they say in order to keep teachers, some serious changes have to be made. You know, our schools, they're definitely feeling the crunch yeah. as well. That's why we had Casey Baylor dive into the NEA's report. Casey, what kind of changes are they recommending? Well, Eugene, as you mentioned, they're trying to address what they're calling the evaporating pool of educators across uh, the country. And here they are doing that in this 45 page uh, report, hoping to address those solutions uh, or issues, I should say, with research based solutions. Now, within this report includes uh, solutions like competitive pay and benefits, student debt forgiveness, increased funding and better working conditions through collective bargaining. The NEA says failing to address the shortage in a meaningful way has led to negative effects on students. Educators in our area say changes must be made to make a more attractive and competitive career path. That's why we wanted collective bargaining for so long. Give us a seat at the table. We have this knowledge. And the report also says about 360,000 fewer people nationwide have um, or are working in public education before the pandemic. Now, if this growth rate stays the same, we won't return back to those pre pandemic employee numbers for another 10 years. We're live in Virginia Beach. I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. Mm, all right. That's quite the number, Casey. Thank you.